Today we do some target practice. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. You ever fall victim to the target effect? Uh, if you're talking about when I stare at a target so long that I guarantee that I'm not gonna hit it, uh, often. No, I'm talking about Target, the store. This is like when Jesse sends me to Target to get a loofah, uh -huh. and I come back with a meat thermometer, some Swedish fish, and a thousand bacon-flavored toothpicks, but no okay. loofah. And really, I think I'm the victim here because she gets really mad at me. <laughs> okay, well, uh, there's no loofahs to remember today, but oh, we can't forget to get our putters because we're headed to the green. It's time for <laughs> Pick and Putt Target Edition. Welcome to the putting zone. First, let me get rid of this just cumbersome green jacket. Caddy Chase! I can't believe that it's that cumbersome. I mean, one of these days I'm going to wear it. Well, the reason I hand it off to Chase is because taking it off takes approximately 90 seconds. Okay, you know how this game works. Steve is going to ask us a question about the store Target, and each question will have three possible answers. We're going to try to hit our balls into the hole with the correct answer. Yeah, all right. <laughs> just like in golf, each hit is a stroke, and strokes are bad. Very bad. Because you don't want a lot of points. And our, if your ball goes into the wrong hole, which is the wrong answer, you get two penalty strokes. Woo! Whoever wins gets to wear the green jacket at the end. Hmm. Maybe that's me for once. All right, let's put. Look at the size of the balls on that course. I, I recognize these from Target. Oh, from out front. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, Stevie? Yeah. Yeah. Outside of every Target entrance, you'll see a series of red concrete yes. balls positioned in a way to stop cars from driving into the storefront. That doesn't stop tempting. my uncle. <laughs> oh, yeah. right. oh, you got a joke too? <laughs> <laughs> I, I have more uncles than you. Uh... They may look like decoration, but safety is their purpose. What are these big red balls called? Oh. Bollards, hawsers, or lambits? <laughs> What a ridiculous question. You said, <laughs> you said Hauser. When I read that flag, I would say Hauser. Whoa. I know, but I have a little thing that tells me how to actually say it. Do you think uh, that this is the official Target name, or do you think this is like the just industry name if you were to buy these? Do you think that like, oh, in, in the Target meetings, they're like, we're going to have to make the Hausers bigger this year because of Rhett's uncle. That was a throwback to my ri original joke. I think the correct pronunciation answer is, Hauser. 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 <laughs> Hauser. I don't know. Just puck, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, but it's a big... I mean, I'm not going to give you a hint. Either. Because bollard is what I would choose because it's the only thing that I've ever heard of. I've never heard any of the other words. I have heard the word bollard. I don't know what the answer is. I'm going to let fate decide. The main thing is i got to get around these whatever you call them. Big red bollards. I call them uh, lambits. This is precarious. Nice. Okay, maybe it's a lambit. I mean, you said you'd let fate decide, so that means you're going with Lambit. Yep, that's what I'm doing. I'm going with Lambit because, I mean, Bollard makes the most sense to me, but Bollard's a long ways away from me, so Lambit. All right, I am going hole-in-one Bollard. This is not going to be easy. <laughs> hey, you hit but one. I didn't know it was going to be that hard. <laughs> hey, you hit one of the Bollards. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and I, it, was boy, trying, I was trying to go really right just, here. It really just... Nestled in there too, Son but I think a... you still got a line. I don't even know if I have a line of sight. I think you do. I think you got. A... I, I I actually have a uh, direct yeah. line of sight towards the bollard. That's what I just told you, bro. You got a bollard line. Yeah, yeah, I can do this. I can do this. This is actually strategic. Okay, here we go. Revving up. <laughs> not, Shut up. This is not a be quiet. Not a prescribed golfing technique. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen that on the tour. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh! That was a good shot, right? It was, it was. It was right at it. And I hope my mom's watching. Okay. All right. Bollard, Bollard in three. Bollard in three, Lambert in two. What, what's the real deal here? Short, sturdy vertical posts were originally used on ships when mooring boats. Today, they're commonly used to control traffic, and Target uses a unique, round, Red version of a bollard. Okay, good. Okay. So somehow we're uh, tied. We're tied. No, no, I got four. Oh, I've got two, and you I'm got one three, ahead. So you're one ahead. So we got Spuds McKenzie, the target dog, down here, <laughs> and that's the, a throwback. The motion. Of what is the actual? Tar what's the target's name? Target dog's name. Oh, no. for real. You're gonna oh, learn that in oh. one moment. Okay. All right. Well, let's go for it. Bullseye. 
The English Bull Terrier, with the famous logo over his left eye, has been the mascot of Target since 1999. Which of the following statements about Bullseye is a lie? Bullseye, who is always portrayed by female dogs, was originally named Ariel. Bullseye has a closet full of custom-made costumes, including an Indy car racing suit and a shirt and bow tie for formal events. Or... The original bullseye was taxidermied and displayed at the company's flagship store in Minnesota until shoppers complained. Yeah, yeah. Like on day one, they complained. There's no way. Yeah, there's no (laughs) way that like the lovable mascot is displayed in in dead form. In dead form. (laughs) Yeah. But I mean, I got lots of stuff to get through before I can yeah, yeah. really navigate my answer. Right, there's a lot of obstacles I mean, between you and those holes. Once this comes through here, it's most likely going to hit. And there's a chance. Ariel. There's a chance, my friend, that it's going to go in this side and get stuck in the mechanism. Here we go. Nice and firm. Oh, oh, hey. oh that's nice positioning. I'm, that's about as good as you can do, I believe. I'm just disturbed by the motion of his tail. And there's only a little spot there that you can actually get under there. Hmm. <laughs> hey, you, you know what? You got through. I hit it, but I got through. <laughs> if you hit it hard enough, you get through. Now, do I get to move Yeah, it? you get a putter's uh, head relief from any obstacle. Okay, all right. Putter's head relief from any obstacle. It has to be the taxidermy. There's no freaking way. All right, I, I got to go for taxidermy here. This isn't awkward at all. Okay. My putter's getting stabbed. I like how you got that little tail hitting your putter. Wow, so that's four into taxidermy? Four strokes into taxidermy? One, two, three, four, yes. I have to agree with you. I mean, first of all, the whole female dog thing makes sense because the dog is on a commercial sitting there and you don't want the penis. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. even though it's okay to see a dog's penis, every time you see it on a commercial or something, like, I just, we don't have to see that. Seeing a dog's penis does not make me want to buy things. Spend money, right. And listen, it's not easy. It's not easy to do this. I mean, four strokes. Yeah. Not bad. Here we go. Weak. Oh, but that's that's decent positioning. All right. See how your tail timing is. All right. Is. Here's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to get past the tail and wrap around to taxidermy to try to get it in three. Maybe I'll get lucky and get it in two. Oh, good timing. All right. So now you got to come off of the wall here. Okay. Okay. All right, show them your good side. <sighs> okay, here we go. Okay. So t- All right. Taxidermy three. in three. Three strokes for Rhett. We agree, so no matter what the score, uh, we'll we're be gonna be tied. tied. Let's find the answer anyway. Bullseye is many things, but taxidermied in Minnesota isn't one of them. Yeah. Yeah. We're tied. <laughs> All right, so I mean that's it. Yeah. Um. Okay. What is I, happening? I, I I guess we've turned this putting green into a catwalk? Yes, we, we have, haven't we, Stevie? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that my cue to read the question? Or were you really just asking me? Because yeah, there's a lot happening right let's, now. But Let's keep it moving if we can. <laughs> what stunt did Target pull for its 2005 fashion show in New York City? Uh-huh. Did they... Harness models and athletes so they could scale a building and strut down a vertical catwalk. Oh, Oh, that's interesting. Have a professional knife thrower throw knives at models who were pinned to giant red targets. Ooh, Uh, target. Hmm. Or foster the company's work philosophy of all hands on deck by featuring models walking down the runway solely on their hands. (laughs) <laughs> okay. Uh, that last one, the hand walking, cannot be true. By the way, Chase, you look great. Um, now we got a different surface the attitude here. Attitude is really. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Right. We got different lights too. Look at all of a sudden. Um, the knife thrower makes the most sense in terms of theme. I think it's the I think it's the knife thrower, or the catwalk. But I also have a person here that I have to get around. Okay, right by him. Almost a hole in one. Okay, so I hit vertical catwalk with my ball. 
but I'm closer to knife thrower. I think I'm gonna go with vertical catwalk. Make eye contact with Chase when you're putting. Okay, so I'm in for two. Vertical catwalk. In for two, he says. Now I'm gonna throw this down there. The three times in a row I've lost, which means I can get a special advantage. You can. Right? So bring in the express checkout. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah. So we got, take that, Rhett. Go ahead and, whoa, put the, put the tube down there. Thanks, Caitlin. Well, what hole do you want it going at? What the express checkout does is give me a direct line to the hole of my choosing. And look, Chase can't do anything about that. I think it has to be handstands. But I think you're really gonna have to, really gonna have to hit it. All right, handstands for the hole in one. Uh oh, there's a, there's a problem here. There's a slight problem. Oh, what's happening? It's like the model is camped out right in front of your tube. But he, he's gonna, he's he gonna, will move, I assume. I'm, I'm sure he's gonna move and keep his rhythm. Yeah, there he goes. Yeah. What a great job, Link. Yeah. That was so satisfying. <laughs> that was nice. Target's 2005 fashion show at New York's famed Rockefeller Center proved to be a bit different when their models scaled 100 feet of the building, creating a vertical catwalk. <laughs> Seriously? So to confirm, we are not getting paid by Target to do this episode? Not a sponsor, oh, no. Okay. Not a sponsor, because their logo is right there. But it's ski ball hey, it's totally I, worth it. Hey, just like a sponsorship. Okay, many third-party sellers offer expensive items through Target's website, but what is the most expensive item that you can pick up in store? Is it a Samsung 65-inch smart QLED TV, an iPad Pro, or a Canon EOS M200 content creator camera. Okay. Okay, so just you're, you're going in first. case you can't see this, there are three holes just like ski ball. They all correspond to a different hole. It's not a mystery. We know that the wide one corresponds to the TV. This corresponds to the camera. And the one in the middle corresponds to the iPad. Mm. But what's the most expensive? An iPad Pro is over, over $1,000. I'm going for the center one, but if fate calls me to come a little bit short and go for the TV, then I'm going to go with that. Ooh. Oh, I went for the one that I didn't want to, the now content creator the camera. camera. So are you going to listen to fate and go with the camera? It can't be the content creator camera. But the problem is, is I don't know if I can get to iPad. Sure you can. Up, yeah, okay. Two okay. strokes to iPad. Let's see. Um, yeah, I think it's the TV. So I'm going this to go for the outermost ring, but not the gutter ball. Oh, <laughs> what a week. Uh, okay, well. If I would have done that right in the middle, it would have hit it. <laughs> that ball's not going anywhere, Link. It's just right there. So maybe you just do it again. From anywhere. Oh, I'll... there's no hole. <laughs> From anywhere that you want. Just place it wherever you want. I, I want to start over. Stroke penalty, but whatever. I'm hoping that the TV's right. Okay. Yes, oh, TV. Right, right into the TV. Come on, hit the TV, hit it. Oh! Gosh. Tap Man. in, tap in for a three Stroke. on TV. So I'm in iPad in two. Link is in TV in three. If it's TV, you win. If it's anything else, I win. Come on, TV. While the most expensive item sold by a third party dealer is a Sigma high speed lens kit for $16,270. Wow. The most expensive item sold in store at Target is the iPad Pro <laughs> for $1,299.99. Man, oh. I was thinking 70 inch TV. Hey, well played, man. Well you played. You get to keep the freaking jacket. Oh, oh it's such a burden. <clears throat> you know, it's, being a winner is uh, uncomfortable at times. Well, thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hey, I'm Ryan. And I'm Austin, and we're, and we're from, from Salt, Salt Lake City, City Utah, Utah, and I've got this putt for birdie. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Mm, do you think he missed it on another take? You did it, dude. No, nah, that was that was it. Congrats, and also clip, click or clip the top link to watch us guess what weird things actually took place at Target in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Put some mythicality on top of your melon with our mythical headwear available at mythical.com.